Hello. Welcome to Imperfect in an Uncertain World, resources to help you navigate your life with authenticity and purpose. Are you more ready to be present to your triggers? Are you ready to turn your reactions into responses? Let's talk about anchoring and shielding. One technique that can help you be more aware of what's going on in the world around you and really help you to circumvent those triggers. So let's begin with a couple of questions. What happens when we are so exhausted that we cannot muster any compassion for ourselves or for another person? This is a dangerous space to find ourselves in. We get so twisted that we are unable to concentrate. We may find that we're not even coherent about what our needs are. Maybe we have memory loss. Whatever we experience, we're not functioning at our best self. And when we're not functioning at our best self, what happens? We tend to react to even the smallest things that happen in our life. Now, a Buddhist master reminds us, be here now. So how do we do that? We do it by anchoring and shielding. So what I'd like to do right now is just explain a little bit about anchoring and shielding before we go on to a guided meditation that you can experience anchoring and shielding. Anchoring is also called grounding. It really connects us to the present moment. When we're anchored, our awareness shifts away from past regrets, our future worries, and places us right in the present moment. We're mindful, and being anchored takes practice. But once we accomplish it, we can drop that anchor at any point in time that we feel discombobulated. So it's as easy as once we start practicing this, is just to focus your attention, do some breathing, and feel that anchor going to, that that anchor going deep into the ground, really bringing us into the moment. So shielding. If you haven't noticed it already, there's a constant bombardment of information, emotions, and just stuff in the world. It's really hard to disconnect. And if we're not careful, we get exhausted by the angst, the anxiety, the fear, and the rage in the world. All you have to do is get in your car and drive a little bit, and you're going to see there's lots of rage to go around. What shielding does is create a permeable barrier around ourself. And when we're aware, we choose what gets through that shield to us. More so, through anchoring and shielding, we energize the permeable barrier with compassion. And when we energize that shield, we create a continuous loop within the shield that we share compassion, and that compassion energizes our compassionate essence. And our compassionate essence energizes the compassion in our shield. So are you ready to practice shielding and anchoring? What I'm going to ask you to do is get in a quiet space. Maybe find a place that's comfortable for you. You can still sit. You can lay down. If standing works for you, that is fine as well. I am going to grab my handy dandy singing bowl and find the clapper. And so what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm as I sing us into a place of comfort and silence, I would like for you to close your eyes and just listen to the bowl sing you into relaxation. Now what I'm going to ask you to do is to take a couple of breaths. Don't try to shift your breathing. 
Just notice your breath. And as you continue to breathe, envision a golden light surrounding you. Inhale this light through your crown. And as you inhale, notice the golden strand of the sacred that comes from your breath, coming from your crown. Notice it as it twines with the strand of yourself. As you breathe, envision the golden strand continue to twine deeper and deeper into yourself with that individual strand. It flows down your head, twining into your neck. It branches out and flows across both shoulders, flows through both of your arms, and then it flows out the palm of your hand into your fingertips. Now return your attention to your neck and the connection of your strand at your neck. The energy flows down your chest. It strands into your torso. Deeper, deeper, deeper past your lower tor torso, past your navel, into your pubic area where it breaks off and the strands go down your legs, down your thighs, past your knees, through your lower legs, into your ankles, puffing out each of your toes and then it goes through the soles of your feet. And as you breathe, let that energy be drawn deeply into the earth where you grow energetic roots. Notice as you grow those roots that they take sustenance from the earth. And a third strand begins to connect, begins to braid with the other two strands. So now you have the strand of sacred, the strand of self, and the strand of earth. See these three energies deeply root you into the earth. Feel your connection to earth. Rest in that energy. As you exhale, breathe into the earth, share yourself with the earth. Now what I'd like for you to do is as you inhale, bring earth energy into your body. Allow the energy in your body to mingle with the earth. So with each breath, begin to pull that energy up. It enters the soles of your feet comes through your ankles. With each breath, you're drawing it up your legs. Past your knees. Into your thighs. And then it streams across your pelvis area and will begin to come up your torso. Into your chest, near your heart area through your neck, through your head, into your third eye, which is right by your forehead, and then out your crown. It reaches up to connect with the source. So now just rest in that, feel that cord that travels from the source all the way down to the earth. Feel the cord that travels from above your head. Just breathe into it and notice you are not alone. You are always with earth and source energy. Feel how it anchors you into the moment. 
Now breathe into the cord that connects you to all. Now I would like to call your attention to that permeable membrane that surrounds your body. As you inhale through the cord, notice how that energy, that bubble, the permeable membrane is beginning to fill up like a bubble. With each inhale, the membrane expands more fully, more and more and more, until it is filled to the brim. Now turn your attention back to the cord and notice it's got some sparklies in it. Those sparklies are your compassion, the compassion from the source, and the compassion from the earth. Allow those sparklies to energize your permeable bubble with compassion. Ask that it protect you, that it energizes you, and most importantly, ask that that bubble serve as a first alert system so that when you are being triggered, that it will become into your awareness so that you can shift any reaction into response. Now I'm going to ask you just to become aware of the room around you. Come back. And again, the singing ball is going to call, call you back. So with each sing, you're going to be closer and closer into the present moment, but your anchor is intact and so is your shield. Well, welcome back. One of the things that I will say about the shield and anchoring is that I recommend that you practice at least once a day to begin with, preferably in the morning. And once you're anchored in the earth and are comfortable with anchoring at any time, it will be easier to reconnect and to be fully in the moment. Anchoring and shielding root us in the moment and really create the space to circumvent our triggers and respond with compassion to ourselves and others. Thanks for watching this video. Like it, share it with your friends, but most importantly, practice moving from affective empathy to compassionate response with each anchor and shield. Are you ready to learn more? Contact me for intuitive mindful coaching. Have a terrific day. Thank <laughs> you.